Welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to take you guys through our most recent race where I ran the 1500, Leo raced the 800, and then Brayden also raced the 1500. It's gonna be great. We've got a lot of great footage to show you, a lot of interesting topics to cover, so stay tuned. Let's do it. Sound like Let's get into the to the actual reason why we're sitting here talking to you guys. Uh, Leo, do you want to start us off with the... The 800? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so my event was the 800 this time around. Um, we I did that uh, Friday night. It was later in the evening. I think the meet actually got pushed back a few hours because of the heat. Um, it's starting to get pretty hot in Azusa this time of year. Uh, it's fun. It's actually this... Uh, we did it, this uh, race was again at Azusa Pacific which is the same track that we've done pretty much every major race at for the past, like, what, two years? It's kind of crazy to think. I think I've probably raced, like, what, six times in the past two years? I mean, it's an awesome facility. And four of them have been at Azusa Pacific. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a it's, great place to it's run. It's a distance, pretty much like a, a distance facility. I mean, they don't have anything else on the field. Like, it's not like a soccer or football field on the infield. No, like, it's they, a running they, facility. Yeah, they they have all the field stuff on the field. They have it always set up for track. And, yeah. and the carnivals yeah. and people can go on the inside or the outside of the track. So like yeah. six, seven, eight, nine and it, and they do javelin through the whole center of the field, which yeah. is cool. So it's just like a prime, uh, venue for these distance festivals. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah. So the, the 800 was Friday night. Um, it was what my second, my second 800 that I've done competitively ever, which was, uh, super interesting. It was also a lane start like the last one. So I felt a little bit more familiar. Um, with that, but uh, it didn't it started out at a great pace 26 seconds um, Coming through the lane break. I felt pretty confident and like where I was I was just try just trying to kind of sit with the pack um, We came through the 226 seconds as I said um, and then around that, uh, that uh, The home stretch of the first lap. I was trying to get you know get my position in there I think that it probably the pace in general slowed down quite a bit, but um I had a hard time getting myself into lane one. I think I spent a lot of energy doing that. I found that I wasn't like mentally, there wasn't that cue saying like, uh, stay relaxed, stay relaxed. You know, I was still in kind of like a straining form, which I think that definitely tired me out a little bit. But um, I think the second 200 was about 29 seconds, which is pretty slow considering that it's an 800. You know, 26 seconds to 29 seconds is a pretty big difference. So slowing down that much made it so then the first lap itself was uh, 54.9, something like that. So the first lap was a little bit slower than we wanted, well, than I, than I anticipated. And that's not necessarily the worst thing, it's just that like I figured um, I can only close it so fast, so I think a faster start, faster first lap would have been better in terms of getting the time down further, but that's okay. I think that I, f I felt pretty decent going into the second lap. Um, people definitely started to pick it up. I think that the general pack noticed that the first lap was a little bit slow, so the pace definitely progressed. Um, coming around the back stretch, people were starting to make moves. I was just trying my hardest to hold on. I think, again, there was that continuing issue where I still hadn't had the mental thought to kind of relax a little bit. And that I think be ultimately became an issue because coming into the closing uh, 250 meters, something like that, um, when the pace, when, I'm, when I really need to start going, I find that like my, I found that like my body was already sort of in that mindset that I didn't have as much left as I would have liked. So I think that made it more difficult to close at the end. But um, so wait, so you were feeling that feeling like you weren't really able to relax or find the rhythm. Uh, a lot of the viewers probably have experienced similar things. How are you, how, how would you face that for future? Like how would you oh, prepare yeah. better? Well, I think that that's like, I think that's like a big thing is normally like I'm used to hearing like my coach yell at me towards the start, like stay relaxed, stay relaxed. Or like in a 1500, it's a little bit longer. Um, you, you, at, at some point you want to become set into your position and just kind of sit there for a few laps to let the, the race go by. And I think that normally once you find your position like that, you start to tell yourself, all right, let's relax, let's relax. Stop, you know, tensing your arms so much, you know, get that rhythm. But I think that because I never really felt like I found my position, I was always gunning for where am I going to put myself. Um, that thought never occurred. And I honestly think I could have run the same pace, just a lot more relaxed if I was able to get that through my head. Because everyone starts the first 10 meters of the race completely railing it, right? But I think what's crucial is that you quickly 
transition from that state into a more relaxed state once you have that momentum built up. That way you can hold a pace well. And that was probably my biggest mistake that I'm definitely gonna work on in the future is immediately after I start the race, be as mentally present as possible so I can say, you know, okay, let's let's relax our muscles. Let's let, let me relax my muscles a little bit. Um, hold this pace and just find my position in a very controlled manner. I think I was still a little bit nervous about the race environment. So like I wasn't totally comfortable um, within the race environment. So I didn't have the confidence to, you know, get a position in a relaxed way. Um, and I think ultimately it didn't really have any huge negative effects. I think the final time was 150.1 or something like that, which is a terrific time. I'm really proud of it. But I think that at any level in the sport, it's really important to reflect on your races and think about the things that you are proud of. Like in this race, I think I did a good job of uh, closing the last lap strong. I closed the last lap in just over 55 seconds, which I think um, is definitely uh, good progress, a really good progress. That's pretty quick for an 800. Totally. I mean, normally it's a huge... You'll see people do like uh, like a 52, 62 kind of yeah, split. Yeah, exactly. Like normally you're used to 800s being these huge positive splits but mine was fairly even, which is um, a pretty tough way to run the 800, which is why, you know, looking back on things I could have done better, it'd be good to go out a little quicker and stay relaxed. So then um, maybe I could have a little bit of a better race, not even necessarily a faster race, just a better structured race. Yeah. All right, well, um, after your, uh, your long ramble, it's a discussion. I, I still ramble. do think that you could work on being more concise. Okay, that's fine. I think <laughs> I asked one question and I'm like, I'm like, here, I, thought here's the wanted, answer. I thought you wanted my whole spiel. Here's spiel the answer. On the here's the answer I'm looking for. And then you're kind of like, like, oh, is he going to get there? Is he gonna, oh, wait, what wait, was wait. The question? Oh, wait, here, oh, wait. Oh, finally. Um, just how are you going to try and be more relaxed next time? I thought you were going to say like, oh, in a workout when I'm doing fast reps at like 53, 54, I'm going to try and find more of a rhythm in the sprint. So that way when I'm in a race, I can try and call upon that same mentality. See, I thought you were going to say something like that, but you no. went like, like yeah, on guess. like six different tangents. What do you, you put in this? It's just tart cherry juice and water. Oh, it's very watered down. Yeah, well, it's because I was going to put cranberry juice, but we didn't have any, so. Oh, that sucks. Well, this is a good hydrator, guys. <laughs> yeah, we also didn't have any like noon or anything, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, enough of my critique on Leo's way of explaining his race. Let's see if I can do it any more uh, concise or. Yeah, yeah, I challenge you. Okay. So, uh, wait, I have to pose a question. Um. You ran a 1500 on Saturday mm -hmm. in what was it? 3:48. Yeah. Point two. Something's not not not. Something like that. Quick. Okay. Regardless, um, I think that there were certain things you felt were shortcomings in the race, and certain things you thought you succeeded on. Why don't you walk us through those? Yeah. So the race itself, uh, the time was definitely somewhere where I could have uh, improved. 3:48. Uh, it's a good time, but uh, for for me. I'm looking to do more. Uh, my PR is like 346 or something, but I think uh, based off that race, I think I'm probably closer to 341, 342 fitness, and I'll explain why. So that's a huge difference. 348 and 342. Huge difference. But the, the, I'm gonna be honest. That race felt like it felt like a workout. Like I felt in control and uh, very much in a rhythm and powerful the whole time. Like I never felt like, oh, this pace is too quick. It's overwhelming. I feel like I'm lactic. Like, I don't think, um, I don't That's think good. I ever was like fully lactic. Even the last hundred, I don't think I ever really what, got. What like, were the general splits like? The, okay, so the race went out not even too quick. It was like a 60. So honestly, pretty darn perfect. Uh, it's, it's really uh, just, yeah, it's not it's not a horribly quick split, so it's not really throwing a lot of stuff in your legs. You feel like you're comfortable in it, but then the problem is like trying to hold that because if you then you go up and do a lot, you slow down a lot, then it's bad. So we did. We went like 60. It was like I think we went up to like a 62 and then like a 64 or something like that. Oh my god, a 64. Maybe I, I haven't checked <laughs> the splits, but I know we slowed down a lot and I could feel it. You know, it's I, I was like, wow, this feels way too easy. Like I feel like I'm barely even like running like this is like should be like two mile pace or something but yeah it was uh and then the last lap we closed pretty hard but here's the thing uh i was in perfect positioning with on the third lap and i come around with 600 to go and i'm like this feels too easy i'm like in third place and here's the big thing that i need to try and 
remember in future races, I was in my head, I was like, I should just make a move and lead this whole pack and just kick, start my kick now and just take off for the last what, 600 what, meters. 600 to go? Yeah, because I was like, I'm in perfect position. That but then I was like, I was thinking, I was like, I don't want to dig myself into the hole, into a hole that I can't get out of. Yeah. So I just remained patient and I stood right there in third, kind of like a little bit like on the outside of lane one, but still very much in it. And then where it really started to fall apart was in the next. 200 meters a lot of people started going around they probably felt the same thing i was feeling because the pace was too slow and we're like you know we're we're it's the fastest heat of the race and we're on pace to run like 352 or 350 or something <laughs> so yeah everyone started going around and i'm like i'm just stuck on the inside so i can't get out it's like um it's as if you're in the rightmost lane of traffic trying to merge to the left and everyone on the left is going 40 miles per hour faster than you. You know, it's like you can't quite like get up and get right. It's very, uh, do you know what your last scary. 300 split was? My last 300, I don't know, but I know my last 200 was like, like 27 or something. Cause uh, the, the going through with 400 to go, we were around, I think it was, uh, 250 like that. I think it was like 250. Oh, so you probably split about a 58. Yeah. Yeah, it was like 250 or something. No, because yeah. my last split did say it was a 57, so it was just over 250. Okay. Um, and then with 200, uh, then with 300 to go, here's where it got even worse. I was, I was like, I am getting screwed over. Oh, you over stepped right on now. the inside. Yeah, or well, on that one turn. step, but yeah. because I was like, I can close so much faster than this right now. I feel like I'm still barely doing anything, and but there's no options. Like I can't get out. I can't like I can't go anywhere. I'm like this is like almost like claustrophobic kind of feeling because I want to go so much faster, but it, but there's no opportunity. And I see the guy in front of me start to move out into the outside of lane one and I try and seize that and I go right on the inside trying to, uh, trying to take the opportunity. We have a video clip of it. And then, uh, he obviously did not like that. I got a little bit of an elbow to the side. I think I probably, uh, pushed a little bit back just cause I'm like, I'm trying to get through this gap because I want to go, but ultimately didn't work out. I got spiked on my shin and my knee and I stepped one step on the inside, but it was, uh, yeah, it was just tough because you have to be so tactically aware that I ended up just continually to be stuck on the inside until probably 130 meters to go when I jolted out into the inside of lane three to try and get around on the curve. So that last 200 was probably more like 205 meters, honestly. And uh, the whole race, I was always in the outside of lane one. So I would say the whole race was probably more like 1510 or something, but... Yeah, wow. I ended up jolting out to the outside of lane uh, two, inside of lane three, getting around the pack with 120 to go. And I think I got past like four or five guys, made my way into like fifth place. The last 200 was like a 27. So it was it was pretty darn quick. Uh, it, that's a great way to close it with like a 57 last lap. But oh, yeah. I probably think, felt like you were moving. Yeah, it did. But the thing is, I just wish I could have gone quicker because I wasn't like fully lactic. Like I think yeah. I could have held that and gone like a 54 last lap if I had the... Uh, if I had the opportunity to move out, which is why I think like a judge and then I finished and I, it felt like I had just done a rep of a workout. Mm -hmm. Like I could have gone, I felt like I could have gone out and just repped it again. And so, yeah, it was, uh, the time wasn't that impressive, but it sure was a thrill and also a confidence booster. Cause like I said, I feel like I'm in much, much fitter shape than I was before. Cause also comparing this 348 to the 347 I ran about a month and a half ago, it felt just leaps and bounds easier. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it was an awesome race. Uh, Brayden as well had a great race. He was, he was able to find two his, heats before you. Yeah, he was two heats before me. He was able to find his rhythm. He uh, just held in there around fourth or fifth place till the end, kicked past into third, and it was it was brilliant. He ran like three forty nine, and which is a a great PR for him. And I think honestly he'll go even quicker in the future. I think I, I'd see Brayden coming in around like three forty five, three forty six. I think he'd. I think this. I think he's fit for that. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, potential. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I'm actually getting cold because the fog is rolling in. It's like oh, yeah. almost Look 8 o'clock. I can see it just by well, looking at yeah. the monitors, but I think like let's we should uh, compare the clip, say, of Miralex right now to when we first started the recording. See if there's any difference. No, totally, because even now, I've gone from being able to see the house in the background behind Lex to just like, I think the vision's almost entirely obscured of it. And plus this, like the view is like, it's totally foggy in the sense that, like, it's, it's super foggy. Yeah, like, now I wish that you posi positioned my camera where we can see more of the view because I feel like you're just seeing the wall, but I guess it's 
I don't know. It's hard to, for me to see from here. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, well. I got... Okay, we got a couple more things I want to talk about before we cut this video. So we talked about the races. Uh, one other thing is, I mentioned it a couple of videos ago, but the track trading cards, elite track trading cards, uh, they're pretty dope looking, but more importantly, if you buy it, you're helping out a great cause. All the profits um, are being donated towards the All Funds charity. It's through the life you can save, and it's just, it, it's really helpful for just extreme people who are living in extreme poverty, meaning they don't have, they don't make enough money to afford the basic human rights, like shelter, food, yeah. health, things like that. So okay. it's a, the kind of charity that's doing a lot for your money. There's research into yeah. it. It's supposed it's to be helping, highly rated in yeah. the sense of like dollar per, Life like, like, like value per dollar in the sense yeah. of what it's actually doing. So it's, I mean, it's, it's not people that you know or see, but it's, you know, you do know it's going to be going to a good cause. So if you do that, we greatly appreciate it. It's a great way to help do your part. Um, but yeah, uh, another thing, run fast. Oh yeah, check Don't it. Don't forget to check that out. Check it out right here. I'm wearing it too. I was gonna wear a jacket, but we didn't have another jacket, so I was just gonna wear a shirt. And now <laughs> He's I'm stuck freezing. in a t-shirt. No, yeah. we need to we need to order ourselves some more crewnecks. Yeah, it's like I think my mom like has my crewneck out right now. So yeah, probably. Well, but yeah, and the beanie, the L and L beanie. I think Absolute that's favorite darn product. cool. I think a lot of people miss out on the fact that there is actually one piece of LNL merch that's on Lex's head right now. It's pretty cool. It's an LNL beanie. I like it. I right. wear it all the time. Super yeah. comfortable. Before we close out, what's next? Uh, what's next? What it, do you mean? When no, it comes I mean to our like, schedule? Yeah, what's next for, for the, the viewers? Oh, yeah, what so are I'm guessing next? this is going to catch you on Sunday. Uh, what is it? Like, what would that be? Like the 20th? 21st, something like that, um, of May, which means that that's going to be one week out from uh, another big race. big race. We're going to be racing at the UCLA, uh, or the USATF uh, High Performance Meet, which it's is at the, UCLA. The LA Grand Prix. The LA Grand Prix. Uh, it's going to be super interesting. We're going to be in the Friday session, which should be epic. I'll be in a 15. Lex will be in a 5K. Um, hopefully some really fast times will go down. Yeah, it's hopefully a, some fast an, times and records go down. Absolutely loaded. Uh, Feel for both races. Uh, I think, like I said last time at Brian Clay, uh, I'm shooting for that record. Uh, it changed by like half a second, but essentially the same thing. So my mindset has not changed. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be fast, and I'm feeling extremely fit. So it it should be uh, an exciting race. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even if I don't get it, you know I'm giving it everything I've got. So. If you guys tune in, it should be on NBC. So it's I don't know if it is. I think the Saturday sessions on NBC. No, or I thought ESPN. the Friday. I thought the Friday was too. I don't even know if it's NBC okay. or ESPN. Well, it's going to be on streamed. some sort of. It's on some sort of platform. You should be. It should it's going to be, be streamed findable. somewhere. So if you want to watch it, yeah. it's going to be great. I'm going to put on a show, and Leo will too. So yeah, and then after that, you can bet on seeing us at Nike Nationals on the Saturday session for the 1500 or, or the, the mile. 17th. Yeah, the 17th for the mile. Right. Mm -hmm. That's going to be so much fun. And I think that is where we'll end our season. I don't think we're going to pursue anything later, just so then we can have you know our break and get ready for cross. You know. But then uh, we haven't really. I don't think we've told the channel yet, but we're going to be going to Flagstaff this year, guys, for summer training. So the past years we've always gone to Big Bear, which is awesome. We've loved it, but we're going to switch it up. We've got a crew of five or six guys. We're going to Flagstaff for a whole month, basically <clears throat> June to July. Uh, it's it's going to be crazy. We're, you know, <laughs> you can absolute bet we're going to be creating some good content for also you, guys. you can absolutely bet that if you're up there and we're up there we'd love to create some group runs and stuff like oh that. yeah so you know if you're going to be in flagstaff for essentially the month of july uh there's a great likelihood that maybe we'll get to do a group run yeah. um because we love to meet all of you guys so yeah yeah totally um, keep that in mind <laughs> all right can i close it out yeah close it out all right wait no you opened it i get to close wait it can out. i just say one thing yeah. i just wanted to thank the viewers for okay. watching if you've made it this far it really does mean the world to us because uh, we produce this content for you guys. We want you to enjoy it because we enjoy creating it. So really, thank you for watching. And we hope you guys continue to achieve your goals as we continue to seek out ours. Yeah, awesome. Well, that's about it. It's 7.55 p.m. It's still bright out in California. I'm shivering. We're going to go inside and eat some delicious dinner that our mom just cooked up for us. And... That's about it. I hope everyone's doing terrific with training and having a great end to their season. Bro, just say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>